I feel like a composition lesson is for students that don't know that yet, or like don't know their place or, or don't even know how to start that journey. And I feel like as a teacher, your job is to guide them on that search. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to tell them what to search for. Sure. See, like you're searching, but a teacher can only help you so much because you already have all these things that you're thinking about mm -hmm. that are insular to you. But I feel like when I'm teaching, because I have private students, when I'm teaching yeah. them, they are not yet even on the path to search. I see. And they're looking for someone to help them. Okay, like what, what should I be searching for? My, yeah, like what, what, how should my journey go? Like at least how should it start? Like what, what are the tools that I need to, to even be on the path? Mm -hmm. Cause like you're in the jungle now, but some of the students that I have, you know, they're just outside of the jungle, but they want to sure. go in the jungle. Mm -hmm. You need a machete, you need a backpack, you need sunscreen. I don't know what you, I've never been in the jungle, <laughs> the jungle. I don't know what you need, but that's, that's how I feel. So when I do a show like this, it's, I like to have people that have something to share mm. um, that's formed. So I, I'm very careful with about who I have on here because I want to to show that, okay, this is like a possi this is a possibility. Someone like you, you know, this is, this is a real possibility to get to, to your stage and that, and you're not done. You have a lot to right. go. And I feel that, you know, especially in regards to form, going back to form, the people that we have are these formed people they're at the end stage or mid stage or whatever you want to call it. They're mm -hmm. at the stage where they have this very formed voice and we're looking up to them. But I feel like composition is, is I feel like I learn more from my peers, you know, and they learn from me. It's a symbiosis thing and I have more fun. And I have to say, that's the biggest thing. I have more fun doing that mm -hmm. than uh, learning from all these older people or all these established people. I don't get as much out of it as I do out from my peers. So that's why usually mostly I've had people that are around my age or 10 years younger, 10 years older, like in that kind of group, mm -hmm. because I want to know what everyone, how everyone else is thinking on, on their journey. So that's my spiel. I don't know if that answered the question, but yeah, um, I think, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. And one thing that Dr. Wagner emphasizes in the forum is that they're bringing people in. They do not expect any of us to agree to what they're saying, but it's just, I think like perspectives and in, in in one way I think I really appreciate that but on the other hand um I also maybe this is the searching part I'm I feel like I also have the desire to just want to find someone who like I feel like oh yes that's what I want to do but maybe <laughs> at that time I will be less uh, less satisfied with the fact that I found someone who's doing exactly what I want to do. Yeah, that's the other thing too. You don't want to copy the style. Right. Or, like for me, at least, like I'm studying with Georg Haas. I mean, besides that we both work with microtones and that we both write for orchestra mm -hmm. a lot, I don't think there's much similarity in, at least for me, in terms of how we write. Mm -hmm. Like with him, he uses uh, microtones in a very like, he's, he's very concerned with the beating between like a C and a C half sharp, mm -hmm. for example. I don't use that interval at all in my music. I like the interval C to D half flat, like the neutral second, or I like C to E half flat, the neutral mm -hmm. third. I like those intervals because I like the the implication of, of harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, with C and C half sharp, to me, you're getting more of a timbral effect, which he's very concerned with. Right. But then he also uses the overtone chord, has like this big open things, mm -hmm. like they're, but they're more like artifacts that he's relics. Yeah. So to me, you know, there are differences, but with him at least, um, I learned a lot because I, I spoke about this on another show is that he instilled, and this goes back full circle with what we've been talking about, this idea of how to not feel this dread while writing music. Mm -hmm. Cause I was feeling this same way too. And when I had my lessons with him, the biggest thing that I got out of him was like how much he freaking loved writing music. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy breeds to uh, write music and maybe I'm not to that extreme, but I want to at least those two, three hours a day that I'm writing, I want to feel like I really want to do this and I really love doing it. So mm -hmm. that is to me beyond all the other technical things that or formal things that we discussed. That's what uh, I think is important to get out of a teacher that you want to, that he has this infectious ability to make you continue want to do this mm -hmm. uh, long term. Cause it's not a short term game, right. this composition thing. So that's my feeling. 